Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome to Leshbit. And today I'm coming to you from the Motorhome and Caravan Show at the NEC in Birmingham. So come and take a look with me. Leisure bit is the way to go with David, Rachel and Roxy. Let's hit the road and explore. It's the exclusive of the CB Explore. You can actually win this camper van here at the show by entering. Eldish really want people's feedback as well on it. You can see there that the base model is 74995. Look at this branding. Look at those tyres and those wheels. So that is the CV X8. And here is where you can actually be in with the chance to win that CV X8. All you've got to do is scan the QR code to be in with the chance of winning this camper van worth over 70 grand. Also on the eldest stand is the CV Owners Group. Well worth dropping in and saying hello. I've been pointed in the direction of the brand new Bailey uh, camper van. It's the first ever camper van that Bailey have done. Apparently it is really, really nice. And here we have the Bailey Endeavour. Apparently the TV folds down in here. Oh, well, a bit close to it. All your bags and everything, Oh, right. okay. very, very nice. Look at this, this is really contemporary and has a very, very different feel to it than some of the other camper vans. Up above the cab there is a handy storage area and your radio control panel. A lovely little skylight here. Some handy little lamps on the side there. This one's on Ford chassis and it is an automatic. You've got your two upholstered chairs here, your control panel, so you've got your Kuma control panel there, a lovely little kitchen in here, here, the induction hall. Really good drawers there. That's where the TV comes down, just underneath there. So that was the Bailey Endeavour. They haven't got the price for it yet because it's pre-production. However, they expect it to be about 25% more than the normal Endeavour, obviously because they've had more freedom to be innovative and do different enhancements to it. I've got to say it is extremely very different from a standard camper fan, and I think you definitely get what you pay for in there. There's some really nice special touches to it. Cool of these. Look at the colours, they're just beautiful. I might get one for David. He can sleep in there by himself. These micro pods are so so cute. They're lovely. Look at it. It's got everything you need. It's got a U-shaped lounge. It's got a pop top. It's got a little kitchen area. And here we have the new 
camper van from IH. It's a 710. It's a really luxurious feel inside. There's leatherette and fabric seats. It just has a complete and utter feel of luxury about it. Look at this boot area. David could fit in there. A six speed manual. Gorgeous display unit. Look at this cupboard up above there. And these beautifully detailed cupboards up on the side. When you look from the cab area, there's a gorgeous seating area on the left hand side. I really like this panelling and detail with the blinds. Even these cupboards are lined. That's amazing. Moving on down, we've got this gorgeous display unit and the exceed control panel. You've got a table that's in at the side, some cupboards at the bottom and a table that comes up there. You've also got your TV that comes up and out of the side. Again, these beautifully detailed cupboards. On the driver's side, there's your kitchen area. Very, very big, spacious, a lot of work top. What I really like on here is there's different wall features, which will be quite easy to keep clean. 12 watt socket and a normal plug socket. Your sink area. Four burner hob, three gas, one electric, and a full cooker underneath. Your domestic fridge freezer and some really cool drawers and some more useful storage spaces there into the washroom you've got the split doors that come into the front you've got your shower in the corner your toilet and you've got your drop down sink and some great cupboards look at the size of that on that side this is amazing I could definitely see myself in one of these IEH camper vans. The build looks beautiful. I love the attention to detail. Some of the designs on the cabinets are just absolutely beautiful. I love the mood lighting in it. All in all, I like. And again, when I went to County Clare, I talked to one of the ladies from Kilkee. And here we have the new M Star, which is new for 2024. Beautiful cab area, leatherette seats, Mercedes engine, beautiful dashboard and control panel work. So, so. Up above the cab, you've got storage areas. Yeah. You've got a nice bathroom area here. You've got your toilet in the corner, cupboards, I've actually got a built-in toilet brush and in the corner here in a separate area you've got your shower and sink looking back over in the van on the passenger side you've got your kitchenette area you've got your fold-up table you've got your sink four hogs there you've got three gas one electric and you've got an extractor fan up above. You've got a full-size cooker underneath. And you've got plenty of storage space. Yeah. On the other side, after the washroom, you've got a Dometic microwave. And you've also got your Dometic fridge freezer. And you've got some nice big cupboards up above. And looking to the back of the van, you've got two bench seats, one at either side. These are in leatherette. You've got your table stowed up above the seats there. You've got six big cupboards at the back here, just above. They're actually quite big. And you've got a little table here at the back. 
we've got your TV on the wall here and you've got your M-Star control panel. I think David would like that panel. Actually, it's a very nice fan. A few little bits because it's in pre-production model. Uh, it's going to have a step added to the back. Got quite a lot of interest in it, um, which I'm not surprised about. It's a good looking model. Behind me we've got an auto trail, we've got the F-Line 60. This van was awarded the best motorhome for under £60,000 in the MMM and What Motorhome Awards this year. Another interesting fact is it's actually the auto trail owner's 30th birthday this year. Happy birthday auto trail. Behind me is the Adria which was awarded the best small camper van. 2024. Let's go and take a look. This one's popped up. Sink and one gas club. And then you've got the extra space. So we've got two Yorkshire puddings made. Do you want to just stop your eggs on there now? I'm going to put three eggs on. Do you want to leave that plain, that one? And here behind me we've got the Swift Monza, which was the Caravan and Motorhome Club's winner of camper van under five metres. <laughs> With this one you get a free awning worth 995 pounds. It's a cracking awning too, look. So here we are at the Naus Tour Van CU Vision. It is £90,603. I must remember the three pounds. Um, it looks quite different. The pop top itself looks quite unusual. On the front of the van, you've got two seats either side. You've got your table in the middle and you've got your two sub chairs. And as you can see, the pop tops come off. You've got the storage bags on either side, which are actually really cool cool because you can unclip them and pack them inside. If you go down to the front of the van, you've got your two swivel chairs, and this one's on a VW chassis. It is an automatic, and it's got quite a nice media centre. <laughs> Interesting concept. I like it. Very interesting concept. You see there as well, when the pop top comes up, then your bathroom, your washroom is actually part of that. Bailey Discovery Stand D4. It's a two birth model caravan and it's coming in just under £20,000. It's really cute and small. So this is the D4 two birth caravan it's actually really spacious when you come in got a huge lot of light from the front mirror sorry window at the front there's a two windows on either side and there's the two seats both on the left and the right a table in the middle and some quite big cupboards 
at the top here. On your right hand side you've got your fridge. On the left hand side you've got your cooker going into the wash room. It's actually quite spacious in here. You've got a mirror, shower, useful cabinet, toilet and a little sink. And you've got a really big cupboard here at the back as well. I must have walked hundreds of miles. My feet were absolutely done in by the end of the day, but it was incredible. I saw the most beautiful fans, some of which were just out of this world. But what I really want to say is the amount of gorgeous people that I've met. It was just fantastic. We have the most beautiful bunch of subscribers. So to each and every one of you who's come to see me, say hello, it's been fantastic. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, as you'll have been able to tell, David isn't with me the past couple of days. He's had to work, so I've been dispatched by myself for a change, which is a bit scary. That's my first look around the NEC Caravan and Motorhome Show 2023 done. I hope you like some of the highlights. I hope you found it useful and catch you on the next one. Bye.